Most of you know Albert Pike, but not many people know that his right hand was a Swiss from Octogon called Phileas Walder. And it was in fact the other way around, and it was in fact Albert Pike who was the right hand of Swiss Phileas Walder from Switzerland, obeying the orders from Octogon, the motherland. Here you can see it. Pike's right hand was Phileas Walder from Switzerland. I'll show you the whole article. Here's what I showed you before here. Pike's right hand was Phileas Walder from Switzerland, who was a former Lutheran minister, a Masonic leader, occultist, and spiritualist. And um, well, here's the whole thing. It's about the three world wars made by Octagon, Switzerland. This is the fifth column, folks, from Switzerland, sleeper agents. Extremely dangerous. A menace to the world. I'll put in the link, you can read it all yourself. Thus, for furthermore explaining why old Albert Pike's Ku Klux Klan has a Swiss Templar's cross in the logo and the Swiss-German definition of the Ku Klux, which I've already explained in some of my other films and don't intend to repeat here. It even says, America's Invisible Empire. Why invisible? Well, that's Octogon from the motherland, Switzerland. And they know it. Yeah, this is Swiss, the Swiss flag here in the middle. The white cross on a red underground. And this is like, but the other way around, like the German, the Nazis had on their warplanes and tanks. Only it's the other way around. It's black, but still in the corner here, this, uh, they had this white, and here it's black. So, yeah, they know it. This is a badge they're wearing, and they know it. This is Swiss sleeper agents. The fifth column in America who destroyed the dreams of America. Oh, here's some more of their invisible empire. <laughs> they even say it. I mean, they're so arrogant. You see? And uh, this is why it was not Albert Pike, you know, the, the big man behind, but it was Phileas Walder, the emissary of uh, Octogon. And uh, who stays invisible? Because this is the invisible empire. Albert Pike was just a visible man, you know, to attract more customers, like Hitler and all the other visible men, like a man, like a um, like a public relations officer. You know, the invisible our empire always stayed behind the screens, and this is Swiss uh, Phileas Walder and many more. They, these are the ones who raped America's dreams, and they want to create three world wars. Well, we already, already had two of them. So, Phileas Walder was one of the many emissaries of the motherland who explored Octagon's hatred, racism, and the Swiss fifth column of the worldwide sleeper agents in a very sneaky way, similar to the sneaky Swiss tax evasion crimes and the financing of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi dictatorship, etc, etc. And in the 19th century, the US was still a relatively young country, full of dreams and goodwill. So all these dark energies were not initiated in the US, because there hardly is any US history predating these events, except from the, the Native Americans, of course. So, obviously, these circles came from across the Atlantic, where the first settlers came from, who had been practicing the undermining of entire peoples and countries with secret societies and secret wars, camouflaged by a smile, thus raping humanity's dreams, hope, progress and stability for the sheer lust of power, control and money. Albert Pike lived in the 19th century from 1809 to 1891 and was a Brigadier General during the US Civil War from 1861 to 1865. 
which was a war between the Confederate slavery state from the South and the pro-abolishment state, states from the Union in the North. The reason of the US Civil War was big money, just as the Second World War by the way and also slavery involved by millions of slaves in the concentration camps and around. And we all know who got filthy rich through World War II and the Nazi period. Yes, Switzerland, and it's still the richest and most expensive country in the world. And they got the idea from the Arabs and from Islam, where there still is a huge tradition of using black slaves, whom they call Abd, being the word both for a black man and a slave, as in the word Abdullah, meaning the slave of Allah, for pious Muslims. So here you can see, they were in ancient Egypt, that's what I told you, that's, why, that's where they got the Templars treasure from with which they founded the Swiss banks. And um, here this was in, here you can see the name Philae, as where the this, this Swiss name Phileas Valde is referring to, the Swiss Templar, right? So this is why the slave ships were in fact Templar ships owned by the Swiss Templars banks of Octagon. As the Templars founded Switzerland on August 1st, 1291, two and a half months after the Crusades and founding the Swiss banks with the famous Templars treasure from the pharaohs in Egypt. So this here was the final desti destination of the Crusades and uh, I mean to get back what was theirs in the first place as the Templars are European aristocracy and pharaohs as the, the entire aristocracy are pharaohs. So they came to get back what was theirs but it was only one part of the pharaohs and that's why the Templars were persecuted by the rest of them, the kings. Well I explained that in the film Pharaohsocracy. And with this they founded the Swiss banks uh, with this money in Octagon. Yeah, here you can see where the Crusades, they went to exactly where the pharaohs are, were. And um, I'm putting in the links for you. This is what I've been telling you about. And this is why the pro-slavery Ku Klux Klan has a Swiss flag in their logo and a Swiss German name which I explained in my other film. And this is why it needed Swiss emissary agents as Phileas Valde and others to defend their big business by wars if necess necessary as the Second World War and the US Civil, Civil War set up by the Swiss and the Octagon Secret Templars organization. There you can see, Albert Pike kept some very dark company among these individuals were Phileas Valda, a Swiss occultist, well, etc. So, I'll put it in the links for you. And Pike was the Grand Master of the Order of the Palladium. This is the Palladium of the Templars, the ones who founded Switzerland. Octogon. This is Octogon. And America lost most lives, uh, soldiers, um, through the um, uh, the U.S. Civil War, actually, I'll put this in the links for you so you can quietly read the uh, the Swiss involvement in it all, which is the center of evil. I know them; the incredible evil. Humanity will stand a much better chance for peace without these ones here. Now why do you think the southern states were called the Confederates or a Confederacy? 
Well, because that place in the Alps is called a confederacy, up to this very day. And we can see that date again, 1291, the last of the Crusades and the founding of Switzerland, the confederacy. You can find a lot of these things on the internet as well. You can buy them, you find them all over Switzerland, uh, you know, uh, uh, motor, motor riders, motorcycle rider clubs, you know, having these sort of things and flags in the streets. Just like Phileas Valder was roaming about in the other confederation, the other confederacy. And um, I tell you, these are the ones who brought the U.S. Civil War. And with how many deads, were, uh, dead people was it again? 300 million or so? 300,000 I think it was, wasn't it? These are the ones who did it. And these are the ones behind Albert Pike and his Satanism and, and all these things, his three world wars. And they are the ones, the fifth column in the United States. It's, this is where they went to first. Now they're all over. You get it? And equally to the JFK murder set up by Octagon and their Swiss sleeper agent J. Edgar Hoover, see my other film about it, the murder of President Lincoln in 1865, short before the end of the Civil War, also was a Swiss operation with their man Albert Pike's involvement and to protect Octagon's big business through slavery, cotton picking, and the clothing industry. Here we can see it. Lincoln's assassin John Wilkes Booth was a member of Pike's Knights of the Golden Circle and the Palladium Order. He was in New Orleans during the winter of 1863-64 and conspired with Pike, Benjamin Sliddle, and Ad Admiral uh, Baird to assassinate Lincoln. And, uh, well, Swiss Philly as well, there was around as well. But they always stay, like, behind, you know. The big ones, they stay behind. They did it. Yeah, this is Octagon. They did it. Albert Pike, Phileas Valder. They did it. The Knights Templars who founded Switzerland. They are behind it. But well, do you really think the Swiss banks could have stolen billions of American dollars or maybe trillions if they wouldn't have any fifth column sleeper agents within the US? You really think so? All these guys with, uh, with Swiss names Bradley Birkenfeld. What kind of an American name is that Birkenfeld? It's all Swiss. It's all Swiss German. Now wake up and get your country back. And it was not only the Muslims selling the black slaves to the Templar traders, who were by that time of course acting under different names and organizations like the KKK, which is in fact a branch of a lot older organization. But it was also the black African kings who sold their own.